Hey, how's it going? In this video, we are going to talk about the most popular helicopter in the world. That's like autopilot, dude. How do you fly a helicopter? Well, I'm going to show you. So we'll keep this video kind of short. So we'll keep this video kind of short. But I just wanted to do a generic search. So we'll kind of keep it short. But I wanted to go through this. We'll go to the best website you can ever go to is Wikipedia. That's a joke. But let's see what they have to say. So I have not seen this yet, but we'll go through it. So I just searched up list of the most produced rotorcraft. So that is literally like when you ask popular, the most produced is the best way you can answer that. So the first one, the most produced, 17,000, is the Mil Mi-8. Now, Mil, um, that immediately is Russian to me. And I have seen these helicopters. That's so crazy to me because this is not like a common helicopter, I guess in my world that I interact with or know much about. But the Mil Mi-8 is a medium twin turbine helicopter originally designed by the Soviet Union in the 1960s. Um, it's now produced by Russia, in Russia. In, in addition to its most common role as a transport helicopter, the MIA is also used as an airborne command post, an armed gunship, or reconnaissance platform. Now, here's the design and development, but I kind of want to scroll down to where it's used in the United States, because um, obviously Russia is an adversary. Uh, during the initial stages of Operation Enduring Freedom, MI-17s and MIA were extensively used by the CIA and U.S. Special Forces to assist the Northern Alliance in their fight against the Taliban. A number of MI-8s and MI-17s are used by the U.S. government agencies as of 2022. Interesting. Keep going. Let's see what else they got. Um, the Bell UH-1, also known as the Huey. This is like what I think of as one of the most popular helicopters in the world, obviously. And you think of Vietnam. Let's see what it says. The Bell UH-1 is a utility military helicopter designed and produced by the American aerospace company Bell Helicopter. It is the first member of the prolific Huey family, as well as the first turbine-powered helicopter in, the U in service with the United States military. That's really interesting. I didn't know that. You know, the Hueys made such a big difference in Vietnam. Uh, I mean, this is just like a massive, massive deal. So all the different models where it was used, there was a twin engine variant. The single engine UH-1 variants were followed by the twin engine UH-1N, twin hewing, and years later, the UH-1 Venom. Wow, I didn't know that. So number built more than 16,000, and it was uh, produced from 1956 to eight, uh, 1987. So that's not a very long time to produce more than 16,000 aircraft. I would love the opportunity to get to fly a Huey. I don't know if it'll ever happen, but that is the iconic American military helicopter. All right, keep going. Now, this is this next one. This is what I think of as like the most popular helicopter in the world. And this is like the Bell 206 Jet Ranger, a beautiful helicopter that I've had the opportunity to fly. The Bell 206 is a family of two bladed single and twin engine helicopters manufactured by Bell in its uh, Quebec plant. Originally developed as the Bell YOH-4 for the United States Army Lights, Light Observation Helicopter Program. It was not selected by the Army. Bell redesigned the airframe and successfully marked Marketed the aircraft commercially as a five-place Bell 206A Jet Ranger. The new design was eventually selected by the Army as the OH-58 Kiowa, very popular. That's like a big military trainer. Uh, the Bell 206 is still used very heavily today. Um, let's see. Produce 1960, 1962 to 2017, 7,300 produced. That's massive. I mean, that is a ton of aircraft. So, like I said, still used very commonly. You know, there's tons of jobs out there for helicopter pilots flying the Bell 206. And I really appreciate this helicopter. I Like, I love this helicopter. I think it looks really good. Um, that's it. Okay, next is the A-Star, the AS350 uh, produced in France. The Eurocopter AS350 or Squirrel, now Airbus Helicopter H125, is a single engine light utility helicopter originally designed and manufactured by France by Aeropastel and Eurocopter, now Airbus Helicopters. In North America, the AS350 is marketed as the A Star. That's how I know it as well. The AS355. Two is a twin engine variant marketed in North America as the Twin Star. The Eurocopter EC-130 is a derivative of the A-Star, very popular helicopter. Let's see that right there. Yeah, uh, operated by Maverick and Papillon. Um, that is a beautiful helicopter, which is basically just an A-Star, just like a little bit modernized, I think. I think that's how they would frame it. Okay, next is the Bell 47. Now, this is a helicopter that I hear talked about so much. So many people um, flew the Bell 47. I didn't know that much about it, and I still don't, but it's 
an extremely popular helicopter with a lot of helicopter pilots. The Bell 47 is a single rotor, single engine light helicopter manufactured by Bell Helicopters. It was based on the third Bell 30 prototype, which was the company's first helicopter designed by Arthur Young. The 40 the 47 became the first helicopter certified for civilian use on March 8th, 1946. I didn't know that. That's probably why it was very popular and flown a lot. The first civilian delivery was made on the 31st of December, 1946 to helicopter air transport. More than 5,600 Bell 47s were produced, including those under license by Augusta in Italy and Japan, uh, Westland Aircraft in the United Kingdom. The Bell 47... The Bell 47 Ranger is a modified version with a fully enclosed cabin and tail boom. Let's look at this. Yeah, I've, I've, I've seen these. Um, they're very popular. Really interesting. I'd love to get to fly one and see, see what that's like. You know, the first certified aircraft for civilian use. I'd love to fly one of those and see how that compares to like even like a Robinson R-22. And you know, the design hasn't changed that much. Um, that obviously uh, the tail cone there, that exposed design is really interesting in that big bubble there. Um, I guess those are the two defining features, but very popular helicopter. I'd love to fly one at some point. All right, and then we have the Mil Mi-2. I'm not gonna read too much about that one, but that is a crazy looking helicopter actually. Wow, I've never spent that much time looking at it, but okay, what, three bladed, twin turbine, uh, that is a big helicopter. Um, the Mil Mi-2 is a small three bladed Soviet designed multi-purpose helicopter developed by blah 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 in the early 1960s. So they made uh, about 5,500 of those. All right, now we're kind of getting into my world a little bit, the Robinson R-44. Uh, more than 6,300 produced, still being produced to this day. The Robinson R-44 is a four-seat light helicopter produced by Robinson Helicopters since 1992. Based on the company's two-seat Robinson R-22, the R-44 features hydraulically assisted flight controls. It was first flown on the 31st of March 1990 and received FAA certification in December of 1992, the first delivery in February of 1990. Now this is an important part. The R-44 has been the world's best-selling general aviation helicopter ever since 1999. It is one of the most produced GA aircraft in the 21st century with 5,941 deliveries from 2001 to 2020. Now I have flown many R-44s. I think they're great helicopters, they're beautiful, uh, more than 6,000 produced up to 2019, so it's probably more than 7,000 now. Uh, it start, It came from the Robinson R-22, it was modified into the R-66, but I love the R-44. It's got a ton of benefits. Um, it, it fills a really interesting niche where it's not too expensive, but it, it does serve a lot of roles for like tours, um, Person, personal helicopter for people to buy. It's not super expensive. Obviously the biggest downside for an extremely produced aircraft is they're kind of dangerous because people don't get a ton of training. You know, if you fly the Robinson helicopter safely, it is a safe helicopter. You can do a lot with them. You can have thousands of hours in a Robinson helicopter and never have a problem. But if you do not fly them, within their designed envelope, they can become dangerous. Next you have the Hughes OH-6 Caius. Oh, I hope I'm saying that correctly, but the Hughes OH-6 is a single engine light helicopter that was designed and produced by the American aerospace company Hughes Helicopters. Its formal name is derived from the Caius people, while its loke, loach or loke names come from the acronym of the Light Observation Helicopter Program it was procured under. So it started production in 1965 to present and about 1,500 of the OH-6s have been produced. Okay, and then we get uh, to the most popular helicopter and the helicopter I've got the most experience in is the Robinson R-22. Um, the Robinson R-22 is a two-seat, two-bladed, single-engine light utility helicopter manufactured by Robinson Helicopter Company. It was designed in 1973 by Frank Robinson and has been in production since 1979. Over 4,600 produced in 2015, so it's probably more than 5,000 at this point, if I had to say. The R-22 is a great helicopter. Same caveats I gave as the R-44. You know, they are great helicopters if you fly them safely. However, people sometimes don't fly them safely and then they get a bad rap. They're not necessarily dangerous helicopters by themselves. Um, they really, they provide a niche too. They're good training helicopters. They allow uh, people to fly helicopters and it's not overly expensive, still expensive, but you know, I, I love the Robinson R22. There's downsides to it, but there's a lot of upsides and pros to the Robinson helicopters. Okay, and then you have the Sikorsky UH-60 Blackhawk, more than 4,000 produced. This is like the modern, iconic military helicopter, US military helicopter. 
Um, the Sikorsky U-860 Blackhawk is a four-bladed twin-engine medium lift utility military helicopter manufactured by Sikorsky Aircraft. Um, blah, 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 blah. 1972, the Army designed a prototype. Um, and it was selected as the winner in 1976 after a flyoff competition with the Boeing Vertol U, uh, UH-161. Um, I love the Blackhawk. I'd love to the opportunity to get to fly one. Super popular, very versatile. Um, there's a lot of them produced. I can't say enough good things about the Blackhawk. I think they're really awesome helicopters, really powerful, really big. I think you can carry, I don't know, like 11 troops in them. I, I just think, I think... The Blackhawk is a great helicopter. I'd love, like I said, to get to fly one at some point. The Mil Mi4, that is an even crazier looking helicopter. What the heck? I've never, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Look at the exhaust coming down. It. Wow, that's really interesting. Um, okay, so produced 1951 to 1979, over 4,000. That is really interesting. First flight in 1952. Okay, uh, the Mil Mi4. Interesting. I'm not going to say anything more about it. The Hughes TH-55 Osage is a piston-powered light training helicopter produced for the United States Army. It was also produced as a mo as model 269 for a family of light utility helicopters, some of which were marketed as the Model 300. The Model 300 was produced and further developed by Schweitzer after 1983. So the Hughes, like the Schweitzer 300, I know that as like the popular training helicopter. Yeah, right there. So I guess this was also a military training. Uh, I guess this was the military version. That's pretty cool. Um, not much to say about that. I, the Schweitzer, those are still flying. Uh, let's see if I can, Schweitzer 300. I don't know if I can get a link to that page, but the Schweitzer, those are still very popular helicopters, still flown quite often. Um, I'd like to get to fly one of those at the same point. Um, I think they kind of have an interesting design. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I also haven't spent that much time with it. So uh, there you go. There's the Hughes TH-55 Osage. The Mil Mi-1, goodness gracious, I don't know if I'm uncultured or if I just think these Russian helicopters look crazy, but just the designs, they're just very different to uh, the, the standard designs I, I guess I'm used to. That is a crazy looking aircraft. Um, the Mil Mi-1 was a Soviet three or four seat light utility helicopter. It was the three seat. That's kind of interesting to have three seats, but um, it was the first Soviet helicopter to enter serial production. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Produced for 16 years, more than 1,000 were built by the USSR and 159 or uh, 1,594 in Poland. Interesting. Okay, then you got to talk about the Apache. The Apache is a sick helicopter. How many of these were produced? The Apache produced 2,500. Love the Apache. Um, the Apache is an American twin turboshaft attack helicopter with a tailwheel landing gear. Really interesting. That is a good point. Uh, Arrangement in a tandem cockpit for a crew of two. It features a nose-mounted sensor suite for target acquisition and night vision systems. It is armed with a 30 millimeter, uh, 30 millimeter M230 chain gun carried between the main landing gear under the aircraft's forward fuselage. It has four hard points mounted onto a stub wing pylons for carrying armament and stores. Typically a mixture of uh, Hellfire missiles and Hydra 70 rocket pods. The H-64 has significant system redundancy to improve combat survivability. Lots of good things to say about the Apache. It's basically just a weapon with a helicopter attached to it. Um, it can do so much. A beautiful helicopter. Uh, the tandem seat is really interesting. I really like that. Uh, so still produced, I guess, um, 1997 to present. Um, it's still in service, and there's been 24... 2400 of these produced. I'd love to fly the Apache. Are you getting a sense that I'd love to fly every helicopter? Um, I love helicopters. <laughs> then you have the Sikorsky H-34. That kind of looks like a Russian helicopter. The Sikorsky H-34, not even going to say that, is an American piston engine military helicopter originally designed by Sikorsky as an anti-submarine warfare ASW aircraft for the United States Navy. It has seen extended use when adapted to turbine power by the British licensee as the Westland Wessex and Sikorsky as the later S-58T. That is crazy that that was a piston engine. Is there more about the piston engine there? I don't want to go that deep into it, but that's crazy. 2,100 of those produced. That as a piston? That's crazy. You know, that... I mean, definitely as a turbine helicopter, it makes sense, but 
The fact that that was ever pistoned is kind of wild. The Bell AH-1 Cobra. Um, the Cobra is a single engine attack helicopter developed and manufactured by the American rotorcraft manufacturer Bell, Hel Bell Helicopters, a member of the prolific Huey family. The, the AH-1 is also referred referred to as the Huey Cobra or Snake. It kind of looks like a mix of a Huey and an Apache. Really interesting. Um, that is a cool helicopter. 1967 to 2019. Wow, that's extremely recent. Wow, a two-bladed attack helicopter. Interesting. That's cool. I, I, I really didn't know that much about that. Okay, and then you have the Aerospital uh, All You Wit 3. Uh, 2000 produced. Uh, they produced 1961 to 1985, a single engine light utility helicopter developed by French aircraft company Sud Aviation. Uh, during its production life, it proved to be a relatively popular rotorcraft, including multiple licensed manufacturers. More than 2,000 units were built. Cool. That's kind of an interesting looking helicopter. Uh, lots of glass. So you can see a lot. Three bladed tail rotor. Interesting. Three bladed main rotor. I don't hate that. Um, that's an interesting looking helicopter. The Mil Mi-24, holy cow, Russia just goes crazy with the designs. I continually am shocked by what I'm seeing on this screen. Uh, the Mil uh, Mi-24 is a large helicopter gunship attack helicopter with a and low capacity troop transport for room with eight with room for eight passengers. It's produced by Mil Moscow Helicopter Plant and has been operated since 1972 by the Soviet Air Force and its successor, along with 48 other nations. So it's still being produced 1969 to present, over 2,700 produced. That is a crazy looking helicopter. Look at that thing. What? There's so much to take in. That is a wild design. Maybe just for me, but that is interesting. <laughs> Then you have the Hiller OH-23 Raven is a three-place military light observation helicopter based on the Hiller Model 360. The Model 360 was designed by the company as the UH-12, which first flew in 1948. So, wow. Wow, look at that thing. Look at the tail boom and the tail rotor on that thing. Wow. And look at the vertical engine. Holy cow, I, I like that. Yeah, I like that. That's a that's a cool looking helicopter. <laughs> then you have the Aerospital Gazelle. That is a cool looking helicopter. I love the Finistron. That is cool. Yeah, I like that. Um, it's a French five seat helicopter commonly used for light transport, scouting, and light attack duties. It is powered by a single turbo mecha turbine engine and was the the first helicopter to feature a Finistron tail instead of the conventional tail rotor. Really. That was the first helicopter? Interesting. I love the Fenestron. It was designed by Sud Aviation, later Aerospital, and uh, manufactured in France and the United Kingdom through a joint production agreement. Further manufacturing license was performed under blah, 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 blah. Okay, so um, almost 2,000 produced, uh, and I guess it finished production in 1996, apparently. And the Sikorsky A H19. Man, <laughs> that's looking like a Russian helicopter, that one. Multipurpose helicopter. I'm kind of getting tired of reading these. Let's get through the last of these. Uh, the BO-105, cool helicopter. I think this helicopter can do aerobatics. I don't know if that's true, but it looks like it can. Um, light twin engine multipurpose helicopter. Blah, 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 cool. Let's see if there's anything else. Oh, the Sea King. The Sikorsky SH-3 Sea King. 1300 produced. The Sea King is an American twin engine anti submarine warfare helicopter designed and built by Sikorsky Aircraft, a landmark design. It was one of the first ASW rotorcraft to use turbo shaft engines. I love this. I think that is like a beautiful big helicopter. Uh, ain't nothing wrong with that. 1959 to 1970, more than 1300 produced. Doll, I feel like I'm saying that word wrong. Alouette 2 is a French light helicopter originally manufactured by Sir. 1300 produced. Okay, Bell 407, love the Bell 407. The Bell 407 is a four-bladed, single-engine, civil utility helicopter, um, a derivative of the Bell 206 Long Ranger. The 407 uses the four-blade, soft and plain design rotor with composite hub de developed for the United States Army's Kiowa War instead of the two-bladed, semi-rigid, teetering rotor of the 206 L4. I love the Bell 407, I wanna fly the Bell 407. I hope I get to fly that very soon. I, this is like the helicopter that made me wanna fly helicopters. I just think it looks beautiful. Uh, Four blades, sharp, clean, capable. I love the Bell 407. All right, final two, uh, the Boeing CH-47 Chinook. 
beautiful helicopter so cool um this is like also modern helicopter military american aviation the bung chinook is a tandem rotor helicopter developed by american rotorcraft company vertol and manufactured by Boeing vertol the chinook is a heavy lift helicopter that is among the heaviest lifting western helicopters its name chinook is from the native american chinook people of oregon and washington state it began work in 1957 a tandem rotor i love the chinook it's so capable it's just really iconic and beautiful I can't say enough good things about it. Produced from 1962 to present, over 1,200 as of 2012. So probably a lot more since then. I love the Chinook. I think it's an extremely cool, capable helicopter. Let's get to the last one. Uh, the EC-135, now Airbus Helicopters, is a twin-engine civil light utility helicopter produced by Airbus Helicopters. It is capable of flight under IFR and is outfitted with a digital automatic flight control system, autopilot. First flying on Feb on the 15th of February 1994, it entered service in 1996 and and 1400 have been delivered up to September 2020 to 300 operators in 60 countries, accumulating over 5 million flight hours. It is mainly used for helicopter EMS, corporate, law enforcement, offshore wind support and military flight training. Half of them are in Europe and North and a quarter in North America. The H-135M certified under the name Eurocopter EC-635 is the military variant. I love the EC-135. Um, hopefully I'm flying this one soon. This is like, this is like the peak of what I want to fly in my career. Um, I'd love to fly something uh, maybe a bit bigger too, but the EC-135 is like prime. I'd love to get to fly that. I think that is just that and the Bell 407 or what make me love helicopters. I just absolutely love those. All right, so there you go. The most popular helicopters in the world. A pretty long list. We got through it though. Let me know what your favorite helicopters are down below. I want to hear about it. Subscribe if you like this video and I will see you guys on the next one. Take care.